Today I use a prescription dive mask, but I haven't always done so. Much to my father, the eye doctor's dismay. I haven't done so because it always seems so complicated when looking at the different corrective lens options. Should I get one that gets bonded in? Should I buy it in advance? How much money should I spend? At Dive In, in order to figure out the right answer for me, we went all in and we got five different options with five different kinds of corrective lenses to show what the quality is versus the value versus the result. And in this video, I will show you the results of that and show you how I tested and came up with the very interesting results where some of these I could see line 10, the lowest one or second lowest one, versus one of these ones where I couldn't see it all. Let's dive in. Just a, a quick glossary of the terms used when considering prescriptions. You have to know, obviously, if you are nearsighted or farsighted. I am nearsighted, for example, and being nearsighted, then I can read items, books, screens that are close to me. If I want to see far, I need glasses. People who are farsighted, for example, they have no problems seeing distance, but they might have a pair of readers that they put on in order to see, read up close. If you're talking about an RX, RX is the same as your prescription. So the RX is the number that includes the distance relationship or the, the spherical or axis adjustments that need to be done in order to, to get the, the right glass that matches your eye needs. If we're talking about an astigmatism, that's where the axis and, and the prism is, is getting into. An astigmatism is a condition or the state of, of your eyeball, the shape of it, whether it looks more like a rugby ball or uh, an American football. If you know farsightedness versus nearsightedness, you'll be able to choose an off the shelf option very easily. But in order to get a custom glass fit, you're gonna need to get a full RX. And in order to do that, you can sometimes go to an optician and get a, a free vision test. And if you're lucky or if you're nice, you can charm the optician into giving you a sheet of paper with, with all the details so that you can submit that when you're buying online. You can upload and each eye will have a value that you're going to need in order to get the appropriate subscription prescription. Let's look at some of the options that we have here. We start with this one from Promate that I ordered from the Get Wet store. It has interchangeable lenses. You can either order the lenses when you buy the mask itself, or you can buy them after the fact. And that works as well if you have some of the brands that, that work with the, uh, the compatible lenses. It's a good option if you don't have a very complicated prescription. Both for readers, you get a, a gauge reader, a glass up to plus four or for uh, myopic for nearsightedness down to minus eight and a half. That is an affordable off the shelf option. This is also an off the shelf option where you get the lenses, the corrective lenses bonded into the tempered glass of the existing mask. And again, it's an off the shelf affordable option. That is a, a, a great trial or second secondary mask that you want to get, but you're stuck with whatever you're going to be ordering and you can't do it yourself. Moving on to the more expensive premium option here with custom cut glass to match your prescription. So we're talking the spherical, we're talking the axis, we're talking correcting fear astigmatism, for example. And you can see on this one that it has a bifocal effect. The glass is cut so that it leaves the bottom third of the field of view so that you can read your gauges on your own. Whereas this one is the same glass, same company, same prescription, but with the full field of view covered with the corrective lenses. The opposite is true as well here that you can get uh, readers to go on here if you have a complicated prescription for reading and all of these ones have their pros and cons we'll get into that afterwards but off the shelf affordable expensive quality better vision for complicated prescriptions so we dive deeper into these two off-the-shelf affordable options maybe it's better understand 
what is the best solution for you. I can relate on my own experience and say that I have a slightly more complicated prescription need than, than the one that I get with these two options right here. For the interchangeable mask here, I have the, the ability to improve, to upgrade my magnification as I get older, as my vision becomes a little more impaired. And for those of you who have a prescription need that is for nearsightedness and beyond minus four, for example, at this shop, you can go all the way up to minus eight and a half. But because it has a larger frame, a thicker frame, this one's gonna be a lot better for more extreme prescriptions. As opposed to this one, which is a super low profile mask, and it has as well the small minus one or the thin minus one corrective lens that is better for me. If it were to match my prescription more, I would have something like minus one and a quarter in one side and minus one and a half with a, some corrections for astigmatism. In water, underwater, it's always better to, to go under your prescription because there's an, a bit of natural magnification in the glass anyways. So in comparing the off the shelf, things to remember is go under your magnification, in this case, you're going to have to make a, a half diopter jump down. And if you have a lens correction that is more than minus three, minus four, don't go for the smaller framed, lower profile mask. These are premium masks. This is an example of a good mask with custom cut glass with the corrective lenses that match my RX. And on this one, I chose to have a smaller lens, corrective lens, so that I could use the bottom part of the field of view in order to quickly glance at my gauges. You can get uh, the contrary, which is a gauge reader glass, which also can be cut by an optician specific to your prescription and then set down here so that you can have the main field of view for looking uh, afar. You can see that and then glance down at your gauges very easily. This is the one that I personally prefer. I like to have the whole corrective glass uh, with a bigger field of, of vision without the line that disrupts or disturbs my, my view. I like this one because I can still use the, the small narrow space underneath the corrective lens in order to check out my gauges. and. If you have a, a larger dive computer, like a Peregrine or something, then you might not have the same issue stressing in order to, to focus quickly on your gauges. It's an issue for people who are older than 40, older than 45, for example, who are nearsighted. If you're gonna be looking at these ones, you're probably somebody who's moving from contact lenses, somebody who's used to having really good vision that it will be less satisfied with one of these off-the-shelf models that won't match your prescription. Additionally, if you are somebody who has had a off-the-shelf prescription dive mask and you're looking to improve your situation, improve your vision, then you're going to be looking to, to go here and you better be prepared to, to drop a couple hundred bucks. I would recommend that you, you, you get the mask that you like, the best mask. That's going to be a, maybe a, a couple hundred bucks doesn't have to be, but it's going to be more expensive. And then the glass, if it's going to be of a higher quality cut, then it's also going to be expensive. The bigger your prescription, the more expensive the cut glass will be, which also means you have to choose what mask you get wisely. As I went through with the uh, Promate masks here, looking at the ones with the bigger frames that were more appropriate for the bonded glass that has a larger prescription, either nearsighted or farsighted. It's something that you need to take into account. This is my favorite, and this one is still very good, and I have an easier time reading my gauges on that one. If you want to choose between some of these options, some of the ones that I mentioned, then there are certain compromises, considerations that you need to take into account. If you need a pair of readers, that's a no-brainer. That's pretty easy. You can get some inserts, and if you buy your readers at the pharmacy, then you just follow the, basically the, the, the plus number that is gonna match best to your needs. If we're looking at these options that I have here, and 
you want to find out the quality and the value of them, then you're going to you're going to need to know that there are some compromises if you go for the affordable ones. I tested these ones using a visual acuity chart in order to see how much the compromise diminishes my vision with these affordable ones. Now, bear in mind, I've been taking these ones snorkeling, I've been scuba diving with, with these ones, and they have ever so vastly improved my diving experience versus a mask that has no prescription in it. Getting up to these ones that are a heck of a lot more expensive, but custom made to my eyes, it can be measured using this chart. And if you look at the videos, you'll see how much better my vision is with this one, which takes into account my astigmatism, where I can actually see the lowest line on this eye chart versus these ones where I think you can see I motion to line five or six for each one of these ones respectively. This is what you can expect going from a mask that costs $65 for somebody who has a demanding prescription versus a mask that costs $400 for somebody who has a more complicated prescription or RX. When we take into account these things, you have to decide what kind of value you're after versus what kind of experience you're after. If you're spending a lot of money on a liveaboard, you're probably gonna wanna go for the mask that you're gonna have for 10, 15 years, and that's gonna give you 20, 20 or better vision versus the other ones here. You can find links in the description to these products and links to a more in-depth review of each of these masks with a little more written explanation of all that, that I've covered here.